little part it started sounding yeah. kind of farty more more farty than usual yeah, more farty than usual <laughs> Well, it's a big day, boys and girls. Today I got to test drive a Briggs & Stratton LO206 race cart for the first time at the Dallas Karting Complex. For those who don't know what that is, the LO206 is a great entry-level and cost-effective way to get into competitive kart racing. A complete ready-to-race kart and engine package typically sell for around $4,500 brand new. However, the engine itself is about $1,000. It can be fitted to just about any chassis, so if you find a used one, go for it. The L206 is sealed by the factory to prevent tampering with or modifying the engine. The only thing you can really do to it is change the oil and give it some fuel. With it being a spec engine, your own track speed basically comes down to driver ability. Up until this point, the only carts I've ever driven at Dallas Karting were the rental carts, so I was in for a pleasant surprise. Before I got in, I was told that these carts were half the weight and double the grip. Right out of the box, the first thing you can tell is that the engine sounds like a big fart. <laughs> I also couldn't tell too much of a difference in the top speed while going down the front straight. It wasn't until I got into the corners that I noticed a massive change compared to the rentals. Everything is amplified. The cornering speeds, the forces on your body, the strength needed to turn the wheel, and even the way the cart handles changing direction. Everything seemed more instantaneous. I was doing a bit of sliding around because the track had gotten a lot of rain the night before, so it was pretty green. Although it's always fun to be going sideways, it's still just a single gear engine, so just like with the rental carts, momentum is your friend. Now I've done a few full-size car races in the past, as well as several track days, so I'm sort of used to being strapped into a semi-comfortable seat, uh, such as the Ultra Shield that's in my Miata, and being thrown about. These cart seats, however, are basically plastic buckets for your butt. They're not comfortable at all and offer very little in the way of back support. This too is amplified, which I quickly found out after my 15-minute session was up. I went into this knowing that things like reaction time would be increased, but I'll be honest and say that I wasn't expecting how physical it was going to be. Woo, man, that's, uh, you like it? that's a lot more physical than I thought it'd be. <laughs> After it was all done, however, I took my wife Christine out for a spirited run in a two-seater go-kart. Hi. <laughs> These things are basically the semi-trucks of go-karts, but we were still passing people. Overall, I had a lot of fun and I'm thankful to have had the opportunity to take the cart out for a spin. This is definitely the direction I see myself going in. With more seat time combined with my continued weight loss, I'm hoping to be competitive in my respective class when that time comes. For now, thanks for coming on this journey with me guys. I'm Paul Slavonic and I'll see you guys next time. But the exhaust came loose. Did it sound weird? Yeah, on the last little part it started sounding yeah. kind of farty. More, more farty than usual. <laughs>